You're going to tell the world you have a process. You want to validate that by showing your process with something they can hold in their hands. Hey, this is Duncan McPherson with Pareto Systems. I'm in an Uber driven by Timothy, very uh, highly rated and capable driver, so I'm in very good hands. I'm just uh, heading to the airport in Chicago after a meeting in Wisconsin. This just made the most sense in terms of uh, getting home at a reasonable hour. Uh, this meeting I did uh, really enjoyed the interaction with the group, very well received. And uh, I thought I'd share this with you because, you know, at one point I talked about the importance of face to face, one to one meetings with clients as part of your service matrix and client experience. And of course, we don't position these as review meetings where you're rehashing something that's already happened, but instead they're positioned as strategy and tactical meetings where you invest the past into the future, make mid-course corrections to make sure everybody's completely aligned and in sync, and it's an essential part of your process. And uh, of course, it's agenda-driven. You're gonna tell the world you have a process, you wanna validate that by showing your process with something they can hold in their hands. Now, that's pretty straightforward, and that is, of course, deployed by many people in business. I'd just like you to expand your thinking around framing your strategy and tactical meetings with a pre and post component. So in advance of a strategy and tactical meeting, it's a really good idea to create predisposition for the client by sending out the agenda in advance and reminding them of the meeting and asking them to give some thought about things that are on their mind. And this increases the frequency of preparedness of the client. It decreases the frequency of canceling or postponing the meeting because they really start to think about the value in advance. So you're priming the pump. And then of course, after the meeting, doing a form summary and submitting that via email. So during the meeting, you're capturing the essence of what you're discussing using technology like talk to text. And you frame it in form, right? Because in a classic 45 minute interaction with a client, you might talk about money and your core message for five, 10 or 15 mi uh, minutes, but the rest of the conversation revolves around their family occupation and recreational aspirations. Of course, that's why financial independence matters. Your value is a means to those ends. So you're not just showing a client that you care about them, you're showing them that you care about what they care about and mirroring back their aspirations on them. This helps them internalize your value. It helps you competitor-proof relationships. It helps you capture money in motion as their life unfolds and their needs evolve. And it creates this bridge from endorsement to introduction, okay? The more they internalize your value, and trust not just you and your people, but your practice and your process, they can socialize that to others and uh, ensure that you are speaking to friends and family members of them because they feel like they're doing them a disservice if they don't share your value with them. Remember, a client is not just an advocate of your value, they're an advocate of the friend. They understand the unmet need, they understand the alignment of interest, they make the introduction, they expect nothing in return. So frame all of your strategy and tactical meetings with a pre and a post component to round it out. So ramp it up by the email in advance with the agenda and invite them to think about what they'd like to talk about that's on their mind and then follow up with the form summary via email and make that part of your client experience. Okay, th thought I'd share that with you. This is Duncan McPherson with Pareto Systems. Until next time, make it a great day.